Chug, and I'm here in this video to showcase you in Minecraft education how we can go about creating a flashlight. So in the previous video, uh, which there'll be a link here when you, if you're watching this on YouTube here a little bit later, um, to how we made a popsicle stick LED flashlight. And now we're going to be taking that idea from the maker mentality and how do we convert it into the Minecraft education world in the sense of how do we get people to understand the application process of learning. So we're going to manipulate popsicle stick, LED, copper tape, those types of things. And now asking students and people to apply that same learning of circuits and switches into the Minecraft education world. And even if you haven't made the flashlight, this project still works. Um, I call it the superhero beacon flashlight, whatever you want to call it. It works out pretty simple. So let's go ahead and jump into the action here. Um, so I've created a world and eventually this will be on my website on coffeefortheBrain.com. We'll have links to all this information, and I have it called Flashlight Final. When we load this up here, it's going to take us to this little room. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to demo this world for you. And so you got uh, two NPCs here, and if I click here on Aiden, all right, so it'll tell you here, hello friend, be sure to open up this chest and take everything. You're going to need only these materials for the challenge you are about to face. Once you have these items, talk to my buddy next to me. If I go here to the chest, we're going to have our sticky piston. We're going to have some gold. We've got some redstone we're going to take. We've got a lever. And we've also got our beacon. These are the only materials we're going to need to create our flashlight or superhero beacon, whatever you want to call it. We'll head over here to Amanda. We talk to her, and if it says we want to add a bit of color to your flashlight beacon, then please grab the color you want and add to your inventory. So over here in this world or this chest, we've got a bunch of different colors. So why don't we grab? Um, let's grab some green, and we'll grab some red just for the sake of this demo. And there's a chalkboard back here, and all it does is tell you to. Um, we'll go ahead and click on it here. Talk to NPCs, which we did, grab the items, and then head out the door. So we head around behind me here. Here's the door. And oh, look, there's something uh, up ahead here. It tells us to follow the path ahead to enter the space where you're going to make a working flashlight based on what you've just learned in the lesson. So we got this nice pathway of ice. And it tells us the challenge. Can you make a working flashlight model based on what you've learned about circuits and switches? So let's go here and talk to Ned. Your task is to create a flashlight using items in your inventory. You're going to need three redstone, one sticky piston, one lever, nine gold, and one beacon. See if you can figure out how to make a light with these ingredients. If you need help, check the chalkboard on the other end. All right, so we know we've got some guidance. It looks like that's over there. And then we've got Bob. If you get the model working, then try to add stained glass box to change color. Can you add more than one light? Can you create your own superhero beacon? So we have some our driving questions, and we've got some extensions we can build in there. So the other thing that's in here, if you do get stuck, I'm going to demo how to make it for you here in this particular video. But I've put this chalkboard over here that actually is going to walk you down through this whole process if someone needs to reference it or gets stuck and just can't figure it out. So let's um, dive in here. Where did my inventory go? So our first step that we need to do is we need to drop our lever. This lever is going to activate the switch, um, make the light turn on and off. So we've got that. We're then going to need three redstone. Now, 
there's no rhyme and reason to the three. Just to, you can make this path longer or shorter if you want. I just like three because it's enough to visually be able to see what's going on. And I can go here to this lever and try it. I can see that it turns on and off there, so I know that we are in good shape there. Now, once we have our, our path of redstone, this is our circuit. This is basically, in the real world, allowing our electricity to flow. We're going to add a sticky piston right here. Now you'll notice I went up in the air on this because we need the sticky part, the green, the, kind of the, the slime, the goo, to be up top. You'll notice if I go over here, if I'm on the ground, like in this angle, it puts it on the side. And we don't want that. We actually need the sticky piston to shoot up so that when we go here, you can see that it raises up and down. What the sticky piston does, it's different than a regular piston, is a block will stick to it. And so it's not going to just leave it somewhere um, it'll bring it back down so in our case we're going to add that gold block and then we can just test it to make sure that it works there we go a gold block raises and it drops so we're going to go ahead and test this and we're going to raise it and at this point this is kind of what you should be seeing here your lever three redstone a sticky piston with a gold block and what we're actually going to do on here then is we're going to build our three by three grid this block being in the middle and so um, this is the minimum we need to get the beacon to actually work and activate. You could use iron, you could use diamond, um, gold also works. And you can go online and see all sorts of different things. You can build these pyramids and make, make them much stronger um, as well. And what you're going to notice here is if I go back to my lever, now when I hit the switch and I drop it, see how the block drops here? So this is actually going to make the platform for the beacon incomplete. Because if we don't have at least a 3x3 three three grid, um, the beacon won't activate. So we're going to turn that back on just for the sake here. And we're going to drop in this beacon right here in the middle. And now I can see that it's actually working right here. But you'll notice if I turn this switch off, it turns it off as well. So we have essentially made our little flashlight using a switch. Very similar to if you watch the video with our popsicle stick flashlight with the binder clip, the arm that turns, that hits the battery on and off is this switch. The copper tape is the redstone. This sticky piston here is actually what our LED light would be on. We don't actually have a piston on our popsicle sticks switch, but you get the idea here. That's what's going to activate it, turn it on and off. And away we go. Now, a couple things that you can do here. Once you have this working, this could be the challenge. Like, I wouldn't share this necessarily with people, depending, and see if they can figure it out and apply the concepts. But if you need to give them some guidance, that's fine. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can add color to this. And so, if I wanted to make this green, I got my green stained glass. Um, what you need to do is you hold shift and right click on this block. And you're going to notice now my beacon will turn green, which is pretty awesome. Um, you know, and then I could swap that out. I could put the red block on there. It would be fine. I could even go up here. And on top of this guy, you could start to create patterns if you wanted to. I could add a red block in there. Now see how it makes it red. And we could create different kinds of sequences as well. The challenge would be, could you add another light on here? Could you get more than one color? You know, so I could come over here and we start to see, do we actually have enough power to power this? You see that we don't. And so get them to think about, okay, well, what do I need to do in order to pull this off to get more than one light? So now we're starting to think about energy sources. We're starting to think about a variety of different things that we could do. Um, there we go. Now we got that bad boy rocking. So I might just make this a little bit bigger all around, even though it's not necessary. And then I could go through here. I oh, didn't want to do that. There we go. Now we're going to have two different colors. And you could right click this beacon and you're going to see that it provides you different powers. Uh, based on the pyramid scheme that you build and lots of different things which we're not going to get into in this lesson but just know that it's there so this is our flashlight recreated here in the minecraft world 
the challenge for you then is could you create your own superhero beacon so um, and just have some fun with this and build this out what if you did diamond around here what if you actually built the pyramid could you create different kind of flashlight switches so this is just to get them to see how we can use redstone and levers to recreate circuits and a um, electricity type unit with our kids using minecraft um, what i've got in my other world i'll show you here just how i have used it um, I have created this one where I've got the colors of the rainbow here and I have three beacons connected to each lever and so outside of my on top of my chemistry lab I've got two switches that control these lights here so I could, if I turn this off you'll see the three will disappear and so I've just built just like you saw in that previous video I just got two sets of sticky pistons I got one right here underneath the orange and the one underneath the blue and then I've got my my pattern here that flows from my world and just makes it really easy for me to navigate and find where I'm at when I'm out exploring alright guys so this is how we make a flashlight or a superhero beacon depending on what your color schemes are and the way you bundle them all up look forward to seeing your designs. As you create something, please be sure to share. Take a screenshot or for your Minecraft education, stick that stuff in the portfolio and uh, send it with me. Share it with me. I've got my, my website on the link above, my Twitter handle up there. I would love to see the work that people create. And until next time, stay awesome, everybody. And I hope you've found this to be quite helpful in the work that you're doing. All right. Take care.